Welcome to the Eva Collector's Top 25 Naked Turtles Cartoon Figures. And he has the best list. Absolutely, Vernon. Well, I think his list is pretty cool. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Thank you, April and Vernon, for that awesome introduction and welcome to the evil collectors top 25 NECA TMNT cartoon line figures from my collection and I hope you enjoy the video um, like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell comment below give me your list of which figures you all prefer better and let's get this top 25 on the road starting at number 25 is mutage man and cool figure great little storyline I know he was a scientist I believe and he had an accident or delivery driver or please comment below let me remind me it's been a while since i watched it but um he got this mutagen uh, all over him and he became this hideous looking thing that's inside a glass case poor dude and uh, an awesome character dope figure to have in your collection hopefully you do have it and let's go to number 24. number 24 is none other than metalhead a villain crane created to destroy the turtles and end up being reprogrammed by Donatello and using them to go against Shredder and Krang and defeat them. Like always, <laughs> cool figure. Um, I, think, I believe it was a deluxe figure. It came with a lot of accessories, and um, I hope you're able to pick them up and have them for your collection. Let's go to number 23. At number 23, we have Wingnut and Screwloose, which were a pretty cool character. I remember more from the Archie comics, but they did come on an episode of the Turtles where they were aliens um, pretending to be military teachers and instructors and um, brainwashing kids to do what they want. But yeah, so awesome little figures. Oh, why look, mine just broke off. I just pops off. He's real loose at the, at the leg. I don't know if y'all have that problem with yours, but mine's still a cool figure. I love him. There he goes again. I guess he's screw loose in with me. Get it? So we'll put him right there. And then Wingnut, of course, just a big... Fat bat, that's all he is, with little wings, with robotic wings that he had to add to make him look more cooler. But these are number 23 on my list. Let's go to 22. At 22, we got the Pizza Monster, which was a deluxe figure from NECA that they gave us. Aiden Parodi looking like character. Awesome. Just a creature that just grew from, I believe they put seeds on the pizza that Shredder did to uh, mutate and turn into these creatures and eat the turtles. And funny little episode. I mean, you got to love the 1987 turtle series. To me, probably me, the, my most favorite series of all the turtles that ever came out. Comment below, comment below, and let me know what y'all think, which one's y'all's favorite. But to me, the 80, 87 turtles were the best ones. And so this is Pizza Monster. So let's go to the next one. At twenty one, we have Scumbug, or people call Scumbag, or just Scum. <laughs> Scumbug is just a character that was just used up in one of one of the episodes just for something. To fill in, but I love him. Character design is awesome. He should have been involved a lot more besides just a couple episodes or just one episode. Um, he's just a cool looking character. Let's go to number 20. At number 20, we have Slash, the mutant turtle from Dimension X. Well, actually, oh yeah, he was created in Dimension X, right? Because the Technodrome, with, he was a Bebop's pet as a, a pet turtle. Cool figure, man. I love the character. I kind of like the comic book one. It would have been more better if they put him in a cartoon because that would have been like insanely awesome but slash was a cool character he always wanted his binky his little palm tree uh, toy rubber toy and that's uh, something he loved so that's number 20 let's go to number 19. number 19 we have mondo gecko a fun character too also in the archie comics and also also in the animated series um it's funny how him and michelangelo met they supposedly were mutated at the same time with the other ones and he became his own character and later on met with michelangelo yada 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 com Check out the episode. Really fun episode. And Mondo Gecko is my 19. Next one, let's go to. With number 18, we have Master Splinter. None other than the teacher who taught the turtles the ways of being good and defending yourself and fighting over evil. You gotta have Splinter in the top 10, top 20 at least. Maybe he should have been in the top 10, but I have other characters that I like personally. So comment below. Give me y'all's list of top 25. Let's go to the next one. At the 17th spot is Dr. Baxter Stockman, the bug form, which is a mutant form. Cool figure. I wish he would have been a little more taller, but I mean, he is a short little scientist and um, number 17 it is. Let's go to 16. At number 16 is Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Cool characters. Dumpster drivers that just happen to get 
touched up with some mutagen and became who they famously known for as Muckman and Joe Eyeball. So these are number 16. Well, now we're getting to the top 15. So let's go. At number 15 is Crane with his android body form. I love this character. I thought he was so cool, so unique, crazy voice, just a brainiac, just insane from Dimension X. And he's number 15 on my list. Now let's get to the next one. At 14 is Chrome Dome, this ultimate android killing machine that the turtles were supposed to have a hard time with, but didn't because of a little button in the back of him that turns them off. So cool figure, such an insane comic character. I want to say he was in the comics. I could quote me if I'm wrong. Comment below. But he is number 14. Let's go to 13. At number 13, we have Anthrax. Uh, obscure character. I want to say he came out once, maybe twice, real quick, and some episodes, but not much. But his uh, detailing that Nick could put on him, so awesome and great. And um, makes you, it just pops out of the shell when you have him there, especially if you have LED lights um, shining on him. Um, so he's number 13. Let's go to 12. So number 12 is the Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady or the Mighty Bebop and Super Rocksteady, whichever way you like it, just like Journey said, right? <laughs> so these are number 12. Some of them I have paired together because it's just, it's kind of hard to break them apart. There's some of them that just go together iconically. So starting from here, you'll probably see a couple pairs pair, pair up, but those are my personal favorites and those are my slots. And let's jump to number 11. So for number 11, it's another pair, which is Ground Chuck and Dirtbag. Cool, awesome characters. I love them from the first came out on the first episode of uh, Planet of the Turloids. And um, so nostalgic. I just love how the coloring are on them, the detailing Nika puts on them. Randy and your crew, I don't care what anyone says. In my opinion, y'all are great at what y'all do and keep doing them. And they're collectibles. They're not five-year-old toys. So I get it, man. I love them. And thank you for that. And uh, so this is number 11. Let's jump to number 10. At number 10 will be my last pair I pair together. The rest will be individual characters based on my personal favorites. And it's Bebop and Rocksteady here at number 10. Of course, I love those guys. They're so funny. They're comic-y. They're just fun villains. How can you not love these guys? And even the detailing they put on these were so awesome and cool. Yes, I mean, the uh, articulation could have been better. But you know what? I just love them. I have them on my shelf. That's why I have them. You know, so I don't... I miss with them a little bit on my stop motions, but not too much. But this is number 10. Let's go to number 9. Number 9 is Yosagi Yojimbo, the deluxe figure that has been released from NECA recently. And everybody's pretty much getting it shipped to them. Hopefully you got yours. If not, hopefully you find one soon if you're looking for him. And he is my number 9 slot. Let's go to number 8. Number 8 is none other than Donatello. He's my fourth least favorite turtle. I love them all, but Donatello's probably the one that I always saw when I was little at the shows all the time. I already had like two of them when like, I was all, I mean, I was, that's enough of him. Now I'm just playing, but everybody has a favorite turtle and we'll get to my favorite list soon. But this is number eight. Let's go to number seven. At number seven, we have the infamous Rad King and his loyal rodent subjects. <laughs> Looking cool. I just love this character. His, um, just the style of him is crazy. Goofy looking, but yet yeah, he had pretty cool essence as a villain. My, my personal opinion. So let me know what y'all think. Let's go to number six. Here at number six, we have Oroku Sake, better known as The Shredder. <laughs> looking cool. And I just love this guy's design. So cool. Had the mask. Remind me kind of of Octopus Prime back then from Transformers. Had the mask on. So you can like see who had his mustache. He had a goatee. Or he had like a little peach fuzz. He don't want you to see that. But here's Shredder at number six. Let's go to the top five of Evil's favorite NECA Turtles. Here rounding up the top five. Starting off with number five is Raphael. The cool rad dude who had an attitude. But you had to love him. He was real funny. Sarcastic at the same time. But that was just what made him awesome as Raphael. And he's my number five on my list. Here at number four, we have Casey Jones, the enforcer who loved to beat up bad guys and criminals and anybody causing problems. So he rounds off number four on my list. Let's go to my top three. At number three is the leader of the turtles, Leonardo, with his two katana swords ready to slice and dice away. So this is number three on my list. Let's go ahead and jump into the top two of the evil collector's favorite 
NECA Turtle Cartoon Line collection he has. At number two is my personal favorite Ninja Turtle of all time, Michael Angelo. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey, Capadre. <laughs> I love this guy, man. He was so cool. He was fun. He loved pizza. Like, he was like one turtle I would love to have hung out with, you know? Like, why not? It was Michelangelo. He's the party dude, right? <laughs> so he's my number two. And let's get to the Evil Collector's favorite figure of the NECA Toy Line Turtles that he has. And the number one figure of the Evil Collector's top 25 NECA TMNT cartoon line figure is Leatherhead. I love this guy. He's so cool, man. And NECA captured everything on him that just... Looks so nostalgic and just, I love the character, man. Just, he's so cool. Thank you, Neka, for this figure. And I was able to hair dry and loosen up this area to put the little lobsters in there, just keep them on there. It was a little tough task, man, but I was able to squeeze them in there. No pun intended. And um, yeah, man, so he's my favorite figure, guys. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. If you think, Evil Collector, you're crazy. That's the stupidest tw top 25 ever. That's fine. You know, we're here to debate and have a good time and talk about it and talk about something we love to collect, man. So, I hope you like my top 25 video. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Give me your list of your top 25 or top 10. And like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell for more of top 10 and top 25 coming out. And uh, take care and evil out.